morning you guys look how beautiful it is out here look at the moon it's almost 7 a.m. I'm actually driving through the Washita's right now but I am headed to the Ozarks I am going to check out the Buffalo River. I want to see what happened and what everything looks like after the flood. Um, you need to check out my Buffalo River Trail video and you'll see that my friend and I started the trail in a drought, ended in a historical flood, um, and I want to go see the results of the campgrounds. Um, I want to go to Steel Creek Campground and search for our bear cans that were lost in the flood. Um, so, I've got a few things I want to do today, so you guys come along with me. These biscuits from the store in Ola, buttery deliciousness. And, they have Alani Witch's Brew, which is my favorite. Alright you guys, I'm pulling into Irby Campground, and if you watch my Buffalo River Trail video, the water was right here. Um, this was all underwater. This was all underwater. We had to come out way steep through here. And then I'll show you the bathrooms we were at. And exactly how far we were actually away from the river. Alright, I just want you to picture this. Christy and I had our tents right here under the awning. Um, we were the only people at Irby Campground. And imagine... Waking up around 4.45 a.m. on November the 5th, 2024, to flash flood waters. When I looked out of our tent, water was rushing through here. Now, let me show you how far away from the buffalo we actually were. Buffalo is way down here. Can't even see it. Way through here. Oh man, we got some picnic tables in the woods. So the buffalo had to come up this bank, not only, but it's way over there. That's how far away the bathrooms are. We knew that the water was already high, but never in a million years we would believe that it would come up that high and beyond. It went even way further than those bathrooms. This is so gorgeous and it feels so good right now these are the lower bathrooms and the buffalo rivers over there these were completely flooded completely underwater as you can see this entire area all the way up in the trees And see. So imagine being here in your tent, 4.45 a.m. You wake up and you are in ankle deep water. Um, by the time you get all your stuff out, the bathrooms were flooded, our backpacks were floating, our bear cans were floating. Different bear cans than the ones that were at Still Creek. By the time we got all of our stuff, the water was almost over the toilet. This was all water. We made it up to this campsite. This is the only campsite that was not underwater that we saw. It was dark. 
all of this was underwater from the entrance here and that's where we were staying since i'm already on irby road we're gonna go check out lau's waterfall oh park over here there's a little parking spot and then you'll see a trail and it's not far point one probably might be a tiny bit of water in it today the brt runs right through here christy and i will finish that one day there's the white blaze I'm not walking all the way down there today. But this Lyle's waterfall. We're at the Fox and Fern. And look at this homemade oatmeal pie. And they have a little owl up in the tree. And he's so cute. This is delicious, by the way. I'm going to have it eaten before I even get my sandwich. Still Creek Campground is busy. Man, this makes me wish I had my tent. Walking down to the swim area. Um, that's at the campground part of Still Creek. You can tell all of this is underwater. One of my favorite swim areas. These are the horse sites. This is where the camp host was staying that day. Right here was a stack of wood and our bear cans were sitting right here. And the water from the buffalo came all the way up here. And they could be anywhere. I mean, they could be up here, there, down the corner. I don't know, but now it's time to look for some bear cans. So I searched over there by the ranger station. Bear vault bear cans are extremely buoyant. Like they float so well. They could be anywhere. So I'm going to go behind this fence and explore a little. Look at all this just piles up. Those bear cans could be anywhere. I mean, I even found a refrigerator. This debris is so high. Oh, oh, bottom of it. Okay. This is crazy. I'm just walking along the creek. Rope swing still up. So beautiful. Look 
kind of bone is this, you guys? Wow. I think I'm standing right on top of that little pedestal part of the rocks. It's gorgeous. We were right up there. That's where that overlook is. It's about 0.6 up. Conqueror Water Bridge. Look at the elk. That was my day today in the Ozarks. Irby Campground, Steel Creek Campground, checked out Bear Cans, walked along the beautiful Buffalo River, and went up to the Roark Bluff Overlook and saw some amazing, beautiful elk also. Um, I am headed up to Harrison tonight to stay. I have family up there, and then I think that I'm going to hike Goat Trail in the morning, so... Like always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.